So I'm out here at my truck. I'm about to replace my uh, pump reservoir, my power steering reservoir. I had to limp home and pack some, pack something together to keep it the power steering working. So I, I did this right here. I put a, a cap from a can of uh, lubricant on here, and I just duct taped it. Just to get home, I had to drive about 300 miles home, wait for the part to get mailed. So what happened was my, uh, the cap broke off the power steering reservoir and without that cap to pressurize the fluid, it really shuts down your power steering completely. Right here, I'm just uh, disconnecting the hose to uh, drain out the uh, power steering fluid. Make sure you keep that spring cap from the old reservoir because the new one doesn't come with it. This is the hose. How this thing drains is, it doesn't drain from out of here. It's pressurized already, so it comes out of this, this housing, this hole, this hose right here. And I just tied this hose down because it's just making a huge ass mess. I had a tough time trying to put the new reservoir on there at first. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't uh, get down in there. There's no way. So I took a knee to realize that the O-ring was still stuck on the, uh, the reservoir. So I had to pry that loose because the new one came with a brand new O-ring. I'm finishing up here by just uh, greasing uh, the steering column. There's nipples on both ends. Overall, this was an easy fix. It takes about 30 minutes and the total cost was probably a hundred bucks. To get to the nipples, you just have to turn your wheel at a certain degree. 